The hatch thermal cover is open. Christina, you may egress the airlock. Copy, in work. Once again, this uh, historic moment, first time that two women have done a spacewalk together. Christina Cook there, the first to come out of the, uh, the Quest airlock. People ask me a lot, were you scared when you did your spacewalk? And I really just talk about rechanneling um, fear into focus. And I think that I first learned that and discovered that that was something I could do at Science and Math. You were so busy all the time there. You know, I remember looking at the, a mountain of homework and thinking, how is this going to get done in one night? I just lacked, I guess, the confidence coming into the situation to realize it. But to have people that sat me down and pushed me harder than I would have pushed myself was really instrumental. My whole world opened up to me. You know, I was from Jacksonville, North Carolina, kind of a small town, small city. And then I went to NCSSM where there were people from Raleigh and Charlotte and all these big cities that I had heard about. And they had big opinions. They had seen so much more than I had seen. And just to realize that, you know, there was so much more to explore, so much more to learn. And the amount that my mind opened during that time is just, can't be understated. Walking down the hallway after the downlink event, one of the young women here who's a student just stopped me to say, this was so inspiring to be an astronaut uh, and to set the record for the longest time in space by a woman. I, I think she truly embodies that there are no ceilings. It really helps the current students think about, well, I, that could be me. If you want to reach for the stars, you know, you can get there. And it's been just a really wonderful, very long distance relationship. Hi, Christina. My name is Jocelyn, and I'm a student here at the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. And I just want to congratulate you on your 300th day in space. Go Unis! I want to thank you for dedicating yourself to being a role model for women in STEM. You're an inspiration to all of us. It's so uplifting to know that someone who walked these very halls has accomplished something so great for the world. Thank you for inspiring all of us here at NCSSM to keep reaching for the stars. Still seeing Christina Cook there on the end of the robotic arm. It is going to be moving her to the external logistics carrier number one. One saying that I say to people that helped me a lot when I was sort of at a crossroads and figuring out what to do next, which is the case for a lot of students at Science and Math, do what scares you. Oftentimes the things that we feel like are just outside of our reach, they're piquing our interest, we're passionate about it, but we might not actually think that we can do it. And if you just reach just outside of what you think might be possible, when you do achieve that, it pays dividends in terms of your fulfillment, um, how rewarding it is, and also how much you've given back to the world in achieving that.